Well, it's estimated hackers attempt to break into Facebook accounts at least 600,000 times a day. And when cyber criminals do get through, it can wreak havoc. KITV4's Andrew Pereira shows us what to look for and what to do if your Facebook page gets taken over. After 36 years with the Hawaii State Teachers Association, Joan Houston retired in 2007. About a year later, she began Facebooking at the behest of her family and friends. They kept talking about it, and I'm going, I think I better find out what this is all about. Last month, Houston received a disturbing message. I got a Facebook message saying, Joan, you've been hacked. I sent a friend request to Houston's hacked account to see what would happen. The person pretending to be Joan told me about a lottery and directed me to friend a man by the name of Rich Dennis. Soon, the supposed Mr. Dennis was asking for my personal information, my name, address, and much more. This is legit, he wrote. Ask Joan about it, okay? The biggest discipline is not to respond. Former HPD detective and cybersecurity expert Chris Duque says Houston's hacked account is being used to fish information. It's an age-old trick used by the con man with a 21st century twist. I can trick their friends to give me personal information or make introductions, actually. Any small bit of information, any kind of cookie crumb, the, these scavengers, you know, they're ready to pick it up and pounce on it. Houston took care of her situation by visiting the Facebook Help Center. So whoever's got your password no longer will have your new password. Duque says victims should go one step further and immediately report the hacking to police. In Hawaii, unauthorized computer access is a felony. And if convicted, uh, up to five years imprisonment and or $5,000. Houston is now more vigilant changing her Facebook password every six weeks. Make it a complicated password and change it. Now, Duque says you should go to police before contacting Facebook. That way, you can provide the number of a police report and tell Facebook to save any information that could help investigators. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.